This is my second week in California. I've been here for the past two weeks, and I'm very grateful to be here. Beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like Berkeley. This is where I live at the moment. Very beautiful place to be. I like Berkeley. It has soul. You know? Berkeley, Oakland has soul and energy. <laughs> Talking about soul and energy, I would like to pay massive respect to my ancestors, to Asasia, Virginia, and Pohami, for making it possible for me to be safe and alive today for their guidance, their prayers, their protection, taking me all the way from Africa to, 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 to here, USA. It took me two days by plane, and I'm very grateful to be here. I would like to take three seconds of your time to sing this song to show my appreciation to my ancestors back home in Africa for giving me the spirit, the health, the energy to be here today. Thank you, thank you. Um, so last week I went to Northern California. Um, I went to a town called Arcada in Northern California. Now to get to Arcada from Berkeley, you literally have to go through Gabrielville, which is not far from Arcada, also in Northern California. And according to the brochure I read before going over there, I went there because I was told there's a lot of trees. They have the redwood trees, the madron trees. They have the avenue of the giant. I was even told beyond the trees, even the Bigfoot himself, <laughs> the big guy himself used to live there. So I was very curious to go check it out, you know, because I like trees. I'm a plant herbalist, you know what I'm saying? I use plants for medicine. I'm an herbalist. You know, uh, what I mean is I'm a doctor who literally use plants to cure diseases. Like a shaman, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I am a Kung Fu. <laughs> So, I went to Arcada. Um, the second day in Arcada, I was sitting in a coffee shop called the Brio Coffee Shop. So I was sitting in a coffee shop. And if you've ever been to Arcada, it's a very, very, very beautiful coffee shop, which actually overlooked the plaza of Arcada. So I was sitting in a coffee shop, and I could see the plaza, because the, uh, the only thing dividing the coffee shop and the plaza is this mirror screen, you know what I'm saying? And a gentleman pulled up his truck, a very big truck called a Tandra 350. You know, it was white and very dusty. And as to why the truck was so dusty, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But he pulled up his truck right in front of the coffee shop. He got off the truck. He's like seven foot tall, like 500 pounds. Big guy, you know, with a lot of beard. You know what I'm saying? So he came straight to the coffee shop. He walked literally two feet to where I was sitting. And he says, Rastafari. <laughs> So I looked left and right, I looked behind me. There was nobody who, according to my imagination, fit in the description of a Rastafari. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Rastafari is much got to do with your hair or how long or how short your hair is. But uh, my hair is too short to me, best to my knowledge, to be regarded to, to, or to be considered to be a Rastafari. You know what I'm saying? But I have to own it, you know what I'm saying? Because that was like the very biggest honor, you know? To be owned, man, I'm like, yes, I am. What am I saying? I'm Rastafari. What am I saying? Child bless, you know what I'm saying? And he was so happy, literally happy, like, like beautiful smile, beautiful. He was so happy, you know? So he sat next to me on the table and he said, brother, you passed by my house one hour ago and I told my neighbor that this brother must or wool or definitely is a musician. I say, yes, I am, man. I am a musician, what a man say, one of the best. <laughs> so then he said, brother, I play music, I play the bass guitar. If you don't mind, I can show you where I live it tonight. If you're free, you can come and we can jump. I said, oh, my friend, I would have loved to, but I came here looking for work. See, in Northern California, you need to be very careful. You need to be very, very careful when you're looking for work what you say and how you say it, all right? Because there are jobs and there are work. <laughs> so I said I'm looking for work, because I didn't know, you know, the terms and the jargons and the, you know. So he pulled his chair very close to me and says, brother, you need work? I said, yes, I, Rasta man need work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and says, brother, if you need work, meet me here tomorrow at 9 o'clock, I have work for you. And I said, Ras, what kind of work do you have for me? 
and says he has a lot of trees. I said, you have trees? I'm like, yes, sir. So when he said he had trees, I looked up, and because I've read about the avenue of the giants, the red trees, the madron, the pine trees, you know, uh, I look up, and literally at the plaza, you can see the trees also at the plaza. So uh, I just assumed we're talking about that same trees, you know what I'm saying? So I told him, brother, okay, I'm good with trees. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm an herbalist, you know. I use plants. I actually make drums from the trunk of the tree. I use the root of the tree for medicine, the bark of the tree for medicine, the leaves of the tree for medicine. So I know trees, any tree. And I'm very curious about the trees here because I want to study about your trees here to see how I can draw similarities about the potency of the, uh, uh, of, of, the, uh, 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 of, the uh, of the medicinal value of the trees. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he said, yes, brother. Meet me at 9 o'clock tomorrow. I'll take you to where the trees are. And if you can trim as fast as good, you got job. I said, trim? He said, yeah, I'm looking. You know how to trim, brother. I'm like, yes, I am, man. See, when he said trim, <laughs> I mean, I'm a British colony kid. So I thought he was talking about pruning. <laughs> so I said, yes, I am. My white man said, man, I'm the best. Man, listen, my middle name is Streamer. All over Africa, man. I can climb the tree, sit behind the tree, jump the tree, whatever you are my taste, man. I was so happy because finally I got a job to do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as soon as the brother left, I went across the street where the Ace Adware store is. I walk into the Ace Adware store. The first lady I met is a lady called Jennifer. Her name tag says Jennifer. She's about five feet two, very beautiful, very happy, smiling. It was just around 11 a.m. So she met me at the door, she said, hello, how can I help you? I'm like, Jennifer, I have a big project to do. <laughs> I just got here yesterday, and thank God, I have a job. Jennifer, I'm going to take out trees. <laughs> and she says, oh, well, what kind of trees? I'm like, oh, big trees, like madron, like mahogany, like um, pine trees, you know? And she said, oh, 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 oh that kind of trees. Um, if you go to our night, there is the lapis, <laughs> which is $45, if you don't mind. So I went there, I saw one, $45, I bought it. I asked her, Jennifer, what else do I need? He says, for $13.50, you can get the Wellington boot, which is like the rain boots, right? So I got one of it. I said, what else do I need? He says, for $3.05. $3.05, I said, really, what will I get? He says, you can get a protective glasses. What am I saying? I was all set, I bought it all. So. I couldn't sleep that night. I just couldn't wait for the next day to come for me to show up and go work with and on the trees. <laughs> so the next morning came, I went to the same place I was supposed to meet my friend. I got at nine o'clock. 9.05, he showed up with the same truck, very dirty and dusty again. So when he showed up, I was all dressed up already. I'm wearing my wallet to boot. My lapis is sitting on the side of the bench. My glasses are already on my, on, my, on my eyes. And he's like, whoa, dude, you ready? I'm like, yes, man, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? So he says, um, I spoke to two ladies to join us. I hope you don't mind. I said, ladies, what do we need women for, man? We're going to climb trees. What do we need women for, man? We need to go and work, man. I'm ready to work, you know what I'm saying? Then he says, brother, relax, you know. These women are good, man. They can give you four pounds in a day. I said, pounds? Do you pay me pounds? <laughs> he said, yeah, if you want it. I'm like, what? This guy is so legit. He's going to give me pounds talents. I'm going to get paid in pounds talents. Oh my God. I'm going to make it. Dream come true. You know what I'm saying? So once he's on the phone going up and down, talking to these girls, trying to connect with them for them to come be there so that we can go and take out the trees. Going up and down, he saw my lap house. It's like, what, what, hey, hey, hello, what, what's up? Uh, hold on. He says, brother, Russ, what's up is that? I'm like, oh, that is the, the machine for the trees. He said, what? I'm like, yeah, that is the lap. I bought it $45. It's brand new. That's what I'm going to use to take off the trees. And it's like, whoa, Russ, <laughs> really? I'm like, yes, I. What am I saying, man? My middle name is Trima, man. I've been doing this all my life, man. I know how to take off it. <laughs> And this brother got so confused, and I was wondering, why is this guy so confused? You say you want tree, I'm the tree guy. You want me to get an instrument, I have an instrument. I'm ready, what, 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 are you, what is going on? So he came very close to me and says, brother, we're going to take a wig. 
I said, yeah, it's like grass, right? I can be on the ground and chop it. <laughs> and that is when he realized I wasn't getting the memo. You know what I'm saying? So he get much closer and deeper and says, brother, we're going to take care of ganja. Like, oh my Lord. I got the wrong tool for the project, man. <laughs> All you needed was these three little scissors, right? Or maybe three or four of these little tiny things they call fiscus, right? You don't need this big lapis, man. Damn, I have a whole herbalist, a whole traditional train fortified juju, voodoo, shaman, whatever I claim I am. I couldn't even figure it out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my story about the trees. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yes, yeah, so.